Welcome to episode five of the Salt Circle Podcast. I'm Hank, and with me is my co-host Ben. I ate too many brats. <laughs> too many brats. So that I, uh, can only lead oh, to a you know no, really energy-filled conversation. <laughs> yeah. where you're, I'm like, you're really into it and uh, stoked to be here and alive. Yep. I mean, it could be worse. I could have like also had some wine. It's true. You could be needing to throw up. I yeah, it could be Saturday <laughs> night. It could be a uh it could be a burning barrel group chat. Or Ben made poor choices. There were poor yeah, there were yep. Yep. Lots of poor choices. I didn't drink at all because I don't drink. That was worked out fine for me. Yeah, that sounds like a great time. I mean <laughs> but I probably okay. I would have been fine if I would have poured myself a glass of something instead of just having the bottle next to me. Uh huh. Because you lose track of your swigs, and then is. But anyway, uh, we're talking about Avatar: The Last Airbender. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. That's what we're here to talk about today: is the television program, program. Avatar: The Last Airbender. Yeah, I said it weird on purpose. Don't worry. Okay. Just making sure. Program. Man. Whatever. What a great show. Flamio Hotman. Flamio Hotman. Oh, man. <clears throat> okay, so I guess to start off, mm-hmm. for... I, I don't even know if it's better to just ask, like, cartoons, anything animated, or TV shows in general. I guess any of those three. Where does... uh. Where does Airbender rank for you? Uh, as a cartoon for kids, or and like not, and I don't care about stuff for little babies. It's of stuff that I like. It's number one for that. Okay, I'm not sure about a Western animated series. Period, and it's not. It doesn't rank higher than my favorite anime, though. It's still <laughs> up there with my favorite anime. Okay, but it wouldn't it wouldn't be number one there. All right, but for its for its genre, it's number one. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm. I think. I think even in TV in general, for me, it might actually be at least top five. I haven't it's, actually assembled yeah. that list in my head, but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, certainly for animated things. Like, for its target demographic, easily number one. Um, mm-hmm. I, yeah, probably probably still. Like, there's a there's an argument somewhere in my mind for Recess. But <laughs> it's, it's... I don't know. I think if I only had to choose one, it'd probably be Airbender. Like, there's, uh-huh. more, there's more substance to it. Like Recess is fucking great, but... Yeah. I don't, I'm not as high on recess as you are, but recess is fine. Yeah. Except um, for the crossover episodes. We don't, we don't talk about, we don't talk about recess and stitch. Okay. They did recess and stitch? <laughs> yeah, they, mm-hmm. yeah, they did, dude. They took a field trip to Hawaii and like okay, every I single didn't... voice actor was different. I'm learning things. I see. Horrible, horrible things. Anyway, Avatar's good. They didn't do any crossovers, I don't think. No. No, they had like think there was any extra textual th- crossovers or anything. No, not that I can think of. I think the only weird thing that we kind of had was they did I don't even know what to call it, but it like they were all in kindergarten or something. I don't know if you've seen that. It's like, that a, like a short. On yeah, the it's like it's like a weird animated short. Like it's an official thing, but mm-hmm. it's just one of those I know ridiculous. They did. Like yeah, all in kindergarten together. It's cute. So yeah, you I know. Like, that, I know they did some of those. I don't think I don't know that I watched all of them. I watched some of them. So it's got that over Steven Universe because so it's never crossed over with Uncle Grandpa. That I have not seen that episode, and I don't care to see I mean, that episode. I, I couldn't. 
I've I've seen enough Uncle Grandpa through commercials to know that's not watchable. Yeah. That's not that's I, not okay. The sick animation bits are good because it's sick animation. I mean, sick animation's pretty fucking good. You're right. But yeah, you I, are I, still, I still remember when did Uncle Grandpa freaking come out? I feel like I mean, it was it's way ages later ago. than Avatar, but it's. I feel it's like it was like, a long time ago now. It could have been around the time Adventure Time started, I think. Okay. Around then. That would kind of make maybe sense. It, I just, maybe I remember. Later. That okay. was like when they started doing more. They Random were expanding shit. their shows. Yeah. I just remember like they did, Peter was like. When they started making shows again, they did like Chowder, then they did um, uh, the fucking Adventure. I forget what that other one was with the kid and the drunk pirate guy and the his whale mom. And then Adventure Time came after that. What? That's all I remember. Okay. <laughs> Some Cartoon Network show. Oh, it boy. Was, it was it was it was interesting in that they were experimenting again with like different forms of stuff like claymation and sure. like chowder does some of that too. But it, it, you can see like the roadmap from like them seeing the popularity of SpongeBob and then moving from chowder to that show and then picking up the the pilot for adventure time and like figuring out something that worked for them yeah based on like where they wanted to be like i i find that stuff interesting of how companies figure Mm -hmm. stuff out in terms of their uh particularly cartoon network i just think is an interesting company over their history but they didn't make avatar they nickelodeon yeah they didn't suck a dick cartoon network (laughs) (laughs) it was it was show Honestly, it was Avatar in terms of like coming out of Nickelodeon was super weird to me. Yeah, honestly, like even when I've like at the time, you know, I think when it came out, I was in fifth grade, so I wasn't sitting with my uh, with my robe and my pipe analyzing the uh, <laughs> various channels. But uh-huh. like, yeah, retroactively, Avatar is pretty weird for Nickelodeon. Like it's and it it. It's just like it was coming off of a period where they're just like, we're just going to shush SpongeBob all the time, forever, yeah. because that does so well. It's mm-hmm. like not worth making anything else. Yeah. It's really funny to me how, like, they had a string of, like, making a new show every year. Yeah. And, then and then I SpongeBob used to watch every year. And then SpongeBob happened. And it's just like, that's not. Dude, that's SpongeBob, was, SpongeBob was weird for me. Just because, like, there was so many, like, family, like, even. Like grown up family members at the time were like, SpongeBob is hilarious. I'm like, why are all, like what's going on here? Why is yeah, this that's one, happening? I mean, I watched the premiere of that and was like excited because it was the new Nickelodeon thing at the time, but then was like, I don't this isn't very I don't like this. But I've like kind of come around to it a little. I'm I'm uh, solidly in the camp of people who think that it was um it was good shit on like through the first movie and then like went to hell after what's his name original writer left. So that the thing is, I really like the first movie is like oh, the no, thing the I hold on to. The first movie was really good. I thought like that's a good epic. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, then after that you get all the like I guess some of the writers from Ren and Stimpy got on, and that's at some point they hopped on that bandwagon, and that's why it kind of turned into like some of the weird growth like. Squidward gets his toenail ripped off. Like, no thanks. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm good. That sounds about right. That explains that explains certain things. Yeah, but no, I'm I'm into the early stuff. Avatar, though. Now that yeah. that just mm. it's just mm. fucking good. It's you know, like, some shows just <laughs> okay. like if anything get better throughout, and mm-hmm. don't really dip. Mm. That would be Avatar. In so my like. Opinion. My only point of even comparison for Avatar as a show is, weirdly enough, Digimon. But not even Digimon as it originally existed, specifically the American dub of Digimon. <laughs> because they have a. Because you have the structured, like, serialized plot line going, and also kids wandering around being hungry. But yeah. then the insertion of all these weird jokes. And a lot of them centering on like food and just like weird things. Okay. That was like a I lot can, of thrown in. I can and you see start to that. 
that's sort of like the mix of what Avatar is doing. It's just Avatar is doing it much better. <laughs> well, yeah, because it wasn't a dub where the joke that you're laughing at was actually a serious moment of character development in the Japanese. Look, that only happened <laughs> occasionally in Digimon and much more often in Adventure 02. That sounds Which is right. second adventure, but the O2 doesn't stand for it being a sequel. It stands for it taking place in the year 2002. I, okay, today I learned. <laughs> I didn't know. I never put that one together. Nice. Yeah, it's it's a thing. Uh, so when they made Digimon Try, they had to set it in the past because they had to set it at a specific time for those characters to be a little older. That's a yeah, thing. That makes sense. <laughs> I, I have no problem with that. Yeah, I was trying to remember what the uh, the guys who created the show, Digimon or work Avatar, on Avatar. Okay, they had worked on some stuff uh, previously. I th- think, yeah, one of them had worked on like th- th- a couple, a-, a little bit of Family Guy and King of the Hill. Okay, and the other one. I had worked on a little... Oh, he had storyboarded for Invader Zim. And did a little work on other stuff. But it looks like storyboarding Invader Zim was his big other thing. He did some character designing for Family Guy. It's just weird to me that they got, like, the budget to make an action show like that. Like... One of the really cool things about Avatar is um, how they animated it, where they would like, so they have a, they would send stuff to the production company from send the storyboards, and then they they would do like live action posing for a lot of the fight stuff, right? Just to yeah, like help okay. the animators make get the get the right stuff. Yeah, I remember seeing a bit it's about like, that. Because like a lot of a lot of times when you have lesser TV shows, it's just you're sending off it. these these scripts and it's like whatever. Like you just get back what you get back. But Avatar is like more involved. I can't remember if it's one of the shows that I I think they did the voice acting first, but I can't assert that. I don't remember if that's if I'm thinking mm-hmm. of something else. Yeah, I remember seeing all the all the stuff involving like the fighting and everything. Like I guess yeah some of the animation things and then just in general how it was all based in like real martial arts yeah they based the the different styles on particular things mm-hmm. that i can't also can't remember the, yeah, the exact yeah. details of <laughs> hey don't worry neither could m night Shyamalan. <laughs> okay apparently we'll ta- look we'll talk about that at the end is what i've decided <laughs> of this episode um yeah so like do you remember how you how you came to the series or just um at the beginning just seeing it on tv or what so initially any any show like this would be Mm -hmm. infrequent sightings or whatever because we never had and still don't have cable or satellite or anything but, like, mm-hmm. everybody else we knew did, including other family members. So, like, I would see commercials and stuff, but I don't think I was ever really in a position to watch much of it. I did watch it on a delay. As I mentioned, it came out when I was in fifth grade, 2005. And I think it took a couple, like, yeah, it finished 2008. I think it was, I started watching it, and I think I managed to see the finale live on tv and i was like mostly caught up because i watched it with some cousins but one of my one of my family members was uh i don't know it was one of those situations where you like this thing so i refuse to do this thing right now Mm -hmm. like i don't know would would come over or we'd be over at his house or family gathering or whatever and he'd be telling us about the show i'm like okay this sounds cool they like go through various incidences and like the, any notable things, you know, the kind of the usual stuff that I guess, you know, this extremely basically any of the big quotes that people pull or any of the things they reference, like water tribe, like, you know, the usual, 
And that's cool. Uh-huh. That's great. Like that was selling me on it. But he's also the type of person who would repeat the exact same thing the next time you see him. And like yeah. me being uh-huh. the age I was, I don't know how to deal with this. So instead of being like, oh, yeah, you already mentioned this. I just like listen to the same thing eight times in a month. So <laughs> after a while, I was like, yeah, we're going to. Yeah. And then he stopped talking about it for oh, forever, basically. And I that's when I picked it up. Uh-huh. <laughs> Petty, maybe, but I was also like 13 or 12 or whatever at the time. So, yeah. Yeah, I really don't remember exactly how how I came to it, honestly. It was definitely like uh, it kind of being in the air as a pop cultural thing sure. during its first season. And then eventually like someone I knew tried it or something because we had a bunch of friends. I think this was college and uh, we would been watching. We would watch cartoons and anime a lot mm-hmm. on our free time. Just eventually we like checked it out and just immediately it was like oh no this is this needs to be watched this is important <laughs> yeah that sounds <laughs> yep <laughs> man so a related anecdote um my one of my cousins is three two years older than me and like mm-hmm. him and his buddies would do the same thing in university, just like, you know, chill and watch whatever and just flick yeah. through anything. Um, they ended up watching a couple episodes of and then a whole season and a half of My Little Pony <laughs> mm-hmm. before they all kind of collectively realized, like, nah, we <laughs> no, nah. and just kind of like pointedly did not return to it like they all enjoyed it enough to watch like a full season and a half but then just kind of like yeah it's not worth enjoying this nah yeah see that one that one came out after i had read gulliver's travels okay and then i tried to watch an episode of it and was just immediately nah can't, oh, nope. oh, okay. I was like, Cannot. how is this fucking related? I'm like, oh, right, the horses. The horses. I can't. <laughs> this is obviously I cannot a, deal. a post-apocalyptic I can't, Like, scenario. just immediately. <laughs> this is the end. This is it. I can't. Like, I'm good. The way people are reacting to it, that's all. Oh, yeah. And just the show like itself. Pretty, yeah. It's all bad. It's all bad. <laughs> Backing out. Yeah. Backing out now. Yeah, so I was kind of uh, disappointed just because the the woman who created it, who'd also that Tara Strong, Scott Mc, no, that's no, not voice she actors. was a voice actor. I thought she was involved I've, more. No, um, them, no, the woman who created it is married to Scott McCloud, who created the Powerpuff Girls, and they co-created Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Which okay, is, which are two shows I I liked. I like Powerpuff Girls more, but. So like I was a creator I liked, but then that show, nope, that was that was a no go, no go. I mean, yeah, cannot lift off. <laughs> Do not go directly to jail. Do not collect two hundred dollars. That's that's totally fair. <laughs> Man, it's kind of hard to talk about Avatar just because I think it's kind of perfect in a lot of ways. Yeah, it's just like, really well structured. You can only... The characters are all good. The character don't development have anything to cr- is what really gets me hard. I mean, not gonna lie. Yeah. So the, Zuko I, is like his arc is one of the, the best things because they I play was, it out so long. When I was little, you know, it was all about like, okay, okay, enough of like, okay, Iroh and Zuko, like Iroh is really awesome. Like I think he has always been my favorite character in that show. But yeah, that's fair. When I was younger, it was like, oh, like get back to get back to the gang. I want to see what I want to see what mm. I want to see what ponytail guy is up to. Like, I want the jokes. I want the stuff. And then <laughs> I got like just a little bit older. It wasn't even like I went back to it two years ago. It's like I don't know, uh-huh. maybe three, four years tops after I saw it originally. Yeah. Like go back and like, holy shit! Like give me like just splice the Zuko arc into a show. Like I'm okay <laughs> with this. This is fucking great. It's so good because you, you know in their heads of they know he's going to become a good guy, mm-hmm. and like, 
and they're just waiting to see when it's going to happen. And they give him every every opportunity. It's just, nope, this kid's not ready. <laughs> He's just yeah. not. He just It has to keep going. He has to get worse. He has to sink lower. <laughs> It's so good, though. He's not like, ready mm, to turn around. Mm, it's just... Mm, it's yeah, great. I mean, the end of... I think the... I mean, the show is, like, at its best to me at the end of season two. Yeah, I like, can, I it's can an, get behind that. The, the other... Th- another thing that ties it to Digimon to me is that season two arc is kind of like there's a long stretch in the middle of... Uh, Digimon, where like every episode is just hitting on tragic note after tragic note for episode of episode, just shit is fucked. Yeah, <laughs> just over and over again. And it's just because you have that first season that like establishes the world, and it's like all this building, and then the second season is all going back and saying, "Nope, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad." <laughs> And just like putting those characters through that so that then they can they can get better and overcome, which is like my one of my favorite things is characters that are strong enough where you can just sit, put them through the worst shit, but they can they can walk out of it. They yeah. can overcome. Yeah. And I mean, even also Toph is great. So once. Yeah. yeah OK. It's, well, like, it's that's better. just <laughs> yeah. it's also very important. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I don't know. I guess Aang also, like, I, okay, everybody has character development in that show, I think. Yes, everyone. Like, I'm trying to think, yeah, I'm pretty sure just literally everybody is shown to, yeah, there's, I don't think there's an example of someone who doesn't. Uh, the Fire Lord? Is that mm. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I suppose. That'd be yeah. That'd really be like the only one, and I think even then, it's only because I mean, we didn't see enough of the other side of him, like from when they were growing up or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're they're adults that don't have any. Yeah. No, but I mean, like even I suppose Iro and stuff, we get some retroactively. Oh, I, it's only hinted at, and even like when you do see him, he's still like he. You just know Iro had character growth because he was part of the Fire Nation and did clearly yeah. did some fucked up stuff but you don't really ever see it mm-hmm. so that's that's a little different um i don't think zhao ever had character development the old firebender <laughs> guy the guy who kills the moon oh right 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 admiral zhao you forgot admiral. his rank god <laughs> unbelievable the disrespect yeah uh, zhao um, the moon slayer yeah, he doesn't really have character development. No, he is a but, stock villain okay, who yeah, gets a really yeah. badass moment and then dies. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, like, everybody else. <laughs> like, except for the the actual baddies. Like, Boomy oh. doesn't have character development in the series. How dare you? <laughs> he is perfect from Jump. <laughs> <laughs> he was formed perfectly but like a, though... azula does in a way azula totally i mean azula totally does it's just yeah she has a she has a descent yeah she has a i guess she's a nice like the descent. full the full descent though like it's just very sudden but obviously in hindsight you can kind of see i don't know i mean yeah your, that's just like eventually ditching you and then like <laughs> It's, yeah. it's it was on its way. Look, it's like a it's like a graph. It's like going, going, it starts to turn and then it just, just yeah, just suddenly. Yeah. Yep. Also, she comes in in season 2. One of the best characters. <laughs> She's so good. I still love that voice actress specifically because of that role. Every time I hear her in things, it's like, like she's oh, in hots. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yep. She's Li Ming and it, someone else. I think she's Come Nova. On. Yeah, that sounds right. I know she's Li Ming. Um yeah. she's also what did I re- oh, um me and Peter just did a quick watch through of Afro Samurai. And mm-hmm. there's just such a fucking smattering of like random people. Like 
random background samurai talks. I'm like, is, or no, wait, Peter called that one. He's like, is that fucking Tino from the Weekenders? <laughs> and it like, and also I guess I think Max from Goof Troop, or whatever. Either way, mm-hmm. yes, like it was him and uh, one of the other like I guess it was a younger younger boy samurai. I'm like, is that fucking Azula? I think that's Azula. <laughs> I was that totally called it. Yeah, she does a lot of stuff. <laughs> mm-hmm. She's a she's a prolific worker. Her country music albums, not great. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't listened to those. I I gave them a try. I like her work. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't like I wouldn't bitch if someone put them on. Aside from it being country music, but it's nothing I was gonna go out of my way to obtain. Mm-hmm. I got gotcha. you. Mm-hmm. All right, I was trying to think of things some of the other uh, voice actors from Avatar have done. Uh, nope. Chick who plays Katara was in Scott Pilgrim, the live action movie at least. She also voices April O'Neil on the new Ninja Turtles show, which is good. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, Iroh, of course, Mako had... Um, is it Abu? Apu? Not Apu, that's Simpsons. Abzu? <laughs> Abzu, that's a, that's, a, that's a game. Uh-huh. Is it just Abu? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, no, you're still <laughs> wrong. Okay, it starts with A. It does start with A. There's a B in I... No. <laughs> really? Azu. <laughs> nope. God damn it. Why do I keep <laughs> thinking it's like... Do you, do you want to call it? No, do give you, me the second you letter. Give me the second letter. There's only two letters in it. You're fucking me. They're repeated, but they're only Is two. It... Ow, ow. No, there are three. There are three. I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay. Three. Okay, give me the second letter. Hit me. I mean, that's the one that you don't have. Which? It's Aku. Aku, god the damn shape, it. I the shape-shifting so master of I, darkness. Okay, okay, I had the, I, <laughs> I had the, like, gist of it. Well, and, and he's not Aku in the new, because he passed away during this this series. Yeah, that was... that was new Samurai Jack. They had to get a new, a guy who does an impression. Yeah. Also, you can you can hear it in the in the end of season three. Yeah. It's also like there's I, like the whole first half of season three. He just doesn't say anything. Just sort of built around that too. Give you some space before the new voice comes in. I think. And see, it's one of those things. I never like maybe. I guess now since kind of like when I was little, I didn't really realize what had happened. Cause mm-hmm. I was like just young enough to be like, okay. Like, I didn't understand that the in-memory-of was actually someone who helped on the show. I thought mm-hmm. it was just, like, you know, sometimes shows will have, like, someone close to them died or something. Mm-hmm. Or someone else involved. So, yeah. I didn't, I don't think I really noticed too badly when I was little. But mm-hmm. now it's just one of those things, like, I don't try to listen for it because I don't want to hear it. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I totally hear it because I was super into trying to identify voice actors. That by then, I was, I was deep in the show by that point. So I was like, on news. It was a bummer. It's a bummer that that happened. Yeah, but and could have been worse. That voice actor for me was mostly Aku was like the big, the big role. He's he was in plenty of some other live action stuff, but like Aku was was the role that meant the most to me that he had yeah. done previously. So I mean, a, as far as old guy Ira dies, is just a great character. Yeah, yeah. But as far as like, and I mean, the, obviously the guy in real life was old. Um, as far as old person dies, and we have to like get someone else to fill the role now, they could have like pulled a Dumbledore. Like, it could have been worse. <laughs> oh, or the or the, the second. The later Matrix movie. I had to replace the Oracle. I don't even. It's been yeah. so long that I can't even remember that, that happening. That one's that one's rough. That one's real rough for Matrix Revolutions. 
You just have a different okay. actress. It's been so long since I've seen the sequels. That's fair. I do remember when they replaced... Uh, I... Um, fuck. I'm trying... Okay. When they replaced uh, Tony Stark's black friend in Iron Man... <laughs> It took me a while. Don Cheadle? When Don sure. Cheadle got in there? I was like, it took me a bit, and I didn't want to... I'm like, <laughs> did they change him, or am I actually racist? <laughs> like, I didn't remember. No. Like, I thought maybe I was just remembering what the what the guy in the first movie looked like. Like, has this always been him? <laughs> like, I wasn't sure at all. No, they totally... Yep, they totally changed him. That was over contractual. Yep. Thing. Yeah, I, I remember it was... like that because I eventually looked it up. But when I saw it like in theaters or whatever, I was like, "Wait a minute, hang on, maybe I'm the problem." I mean, they also changed out fucking Batman's girlfriend from Batman Begins to back to Dark Knight. Oh, and nobody cared. <laughs> I don't. I think it had been so long since I, I can't even remember the last time I've seen. Batman Begins. I've seen Dark Knight probably like four or five times, but Batman Begins yeah. maybe twice. It's just they just changed that actress. No one cared. Uh, no one was watching the movie to see that actress though. Like she was very much replaceable. I was upset about I mean, about other guy from Iron Man, whose name you can't remember either. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, but he was funny at least. Are you saying lines. Don Cheadle isn't funny? I'm saying I don't actually remember enough about either's performance to say anything super solid. Uh, Terrence Howard is who was that character. It was between him and Will Smith. I knew it was someone. Or the guy who plays Morpheus. <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne? Sure. Why not? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I, I legitimately did not know his name. I recognize it he was, now, but I He I was don't. in Apocalypse Now. I don't... In his younger days. I don't think I've seen that. You should watch it. What it's am I, long. I keep... Apocalypse Now is the one I always get confused with. A uh, movie that is like thriller kind of horror about kid who's under house arrest and his neighbor he thinks is killing people and like befriends his mom there's like guys Michael's now life. is a vietnam movie <laughs> yeah what am i thinking of <laughs> i have no idea it's not apocalypse maybe it was just like a movie that came out the same time as something with a similar name and for that reason i get them confused I don't know the names of many movies. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta show up. Ten out of ten podcasting. <laughs> yeah, just digressing <laughs> so far. It's the Ben and Hank don't talk about Avatar. I mean, but it's served as uh, look, I think if it look, serves it's, as the it's basis. a tree branch. Yeah. We're zigzagging all over the place. It's fine. Yeah. I mean you need to much like a tree, you need to allow the content to spring forth organically. Yeah. Like honestly, I think this is a this is a series that is like worth doing episode by episode podcasting if you really want to dig into it, but that's not what we're gonna do here. So it's oh, fine. yeah. No, that's that's not that's not our brand. I mean brand yeah, is... I I could, but I'm going to be honest, I'm doing enough analyzing with books at school right now. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I want to do more in my free time too much. Fair enough. I've been trying Fair to explain why this why enough. this main character is homosexual and possibly a little bit gender confused. And I'm, I've been reaching. I've been reaching <laughs> real hard. <laughs> Did he ever declare himself the Moon Slayer? No. Or herself. I don't know. Or herself. <laughs> Admiral Zhao gender bent fan fan art. Look, man, he It's out it there. Wasn't, it he wasn't worried. It has to be out there. Uh he wasn't worried about anything. He wasn't thinking enough about himself. He just wanted to kill the moon a lot. 
he was really i mean and he did <laughs> he did it like he definitely did kill the moon like that's impressive for a guy who is not that impressive yeah <laughs> it's really just he broke into Man. the secret library he burned all that shit he got the owl really mad not mad enough to moon. take care of him apparently uh, not not mad enough to actually sink his library before that. Yeah. It's still like, just one more straw, fucking humans. But <laughs> you sons of bitches. Whatever. I don't know. I don't, really still don't know why the foxes were so keen to help our heroes, though. Just, I, don't, I don't know. Good, Just good spirits. Maybe they were sick know. of being like shit on by the owl. Figuratively or possibly literally. <laughs> He's an owl after all. It's, that's fair. That's very fair. That one guy who's just okay with being buried alive in sand. Yeah. Books. It's like, yeah. Nah. We, don't really get, we don't really get a... Do we... I'm trying to... I know there's like a brief scene with that library in Korra, isn't there? I don't remember that I happening. Feel like, I feel like there is... Or in like a flashback, I I don't even know. I just remember a a bit with him like he's explain he says something and then he's like, oh, one of my someone must have misinformed me, and like one of the foxes is all like sheepish and like runs away. I I think it has to be Korra because it wasn't an avatar. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, it. I remember. Then they go to the spirit world. Um, right. Fucking. Right, that's it. One of. Uh, Janora, I think, meets him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Cora is another podcast. It's fine. It, Cora will be another podcast, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he that out does show up again. Yeah, it's just he's not. He's not. He, that's the end of him. In Except the it's in a stupid way because world. it's in Cora. Okay, Ben. I got it. <laughs> Don't like Cora. I. It's fine. I like Cora in a way. <laughs> You like shitting on Korra. Uh, yeah, like, I'll still sit down to watch it. Like, I've caught a lot of crap because I, I talk shit about it so much, but if it's on, I'm, like, watching it. I'm like, yeah, because it's... <sighs> I, I don't even know. I can't even, I can't even pick up the words. Look, the important thing is that Avatar sets a high standard, so even when you have something that's lower than that standard, it's still pretty good. I mean, still, still pretty good. The more, the more incredible thing is how consistent Avatar is across its three seasons. It go, it starts really good. It gets better. It stays pretty good. It's maybe not, maybe it doesn't hit the high points just because it's done a lot of good shit already. Yeah, but it's still, still very good through, through the end. And solidly, yeah, like doesn't yeah. stop sprinting. I so like, speaking of high, uh, high standards, um. Have you ever, perchance, visited the subreddit? I have not. So, I don't really... I, I'm, like, not subscribed or anything. Um, mm. I, they just pop up now and again, because it turns out people really fucking love Avatar. What? Uh, they still will do, like, spoiler stuff. Like, every single post will have spoilers or no spoilers. <laughs> and if it... Like, they'll block them out and shit. And I'm like, you guys are dedicated <laughs> You guys are fucking dead. You don't want anyone Man. stumbling into this to be spoiled. That's unreal. <laughs> like, Man. That's that's actually just crazy. That's actually just right? insane. Right? It's so much that's, extra work. And like even people commenting, even people commenting will be like, uh, spoilers ahead <laughs> before I <laughs> respond to this. <laughs> like, all right. Like, that's cool. It's way I'm never posting here. Wow. Yep. Wow. Uh, the thing I do know is that they started, like, the creators of the show were aware of Reddit. So they would, do, they would start thinking about their show in terms of, they did start thinking about their show in terms of audience ships during the later seasons just to have characters interact who might not have interacted otherwise. Okay. Like, that's why there's... 
I mean, that's, it might have happened anyway, but that's definitely was in their brain when they wrote their Zuko Katara episode. Sure, it was just about those two characters. It's to feed the I kind of I kind of I fucking hate when people ship Zutara. <laughs> I hate it so much. I mean, that was very was... obviously not that kind of scene. And you people are <laughs> sick fucks. I mean, that's... I think I think there's more evidence. Look. I think we have more evidence for a Katara <laughs> top ship. <laughs> I think Katoff has more evidence in the show than Zutara. That, that one time they got makeup on together? I mean, that and... I don't, I don't know. There's just some... They fight a lot. But there's some subtext. Exactly, exactly. They fight a lot. I mean, the thing I've learned about internet ships is that the best ones are based in zero reality. Like, the less <laughs> associated with any context for like textual evidence that uh, it, it lessens the power of that as a fanship. Are you saying that Ron Snape is not valid? <laughs> you can either roll with Look, <laughs> you can either the roll other with thing Snob. I've learned <laughs> is that Harry Potter fanficers have created an entirely other world of those characters that they reference. The question is do it, you do it's you just that with uh with Snon or with Rape? <laughs> I'm curious. I'm legitimately curious. Someone inform me. <laughs> I, I need no to idea. know. All I know is that they draw on versions of those characters that are that are a different, uh, universally agreed upon thing among their community. That's not f- the characters from the books as they appear. I I don't had... know why that happened. I'm just I've known enough people who have read that stuff to be informed enough. To say I had that. a friend former friend i should say in complete (laughs) serious and and unrelated to this but it it doesn't it's certainly like everyone will probably be like oh yeah okay um ask me in complete serious if there were places on the internet where she could find lewd images of famous like stars from x x x show together namely harry potter Sherlock and Doctor Who. I was like, yeah, there certainly are. Um I don't know any of them offhand. But there is a um there's a surprising amount of people who take the time to learn Photoshop. So <laughs> fucking have at it, I guess. Like uh, I still like it was just kind of like at the time I was like yeah okay sure whatever but yeah 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 I don't know you know what I am a little upset about with Avatar what did you ever watch the pilot I like, did watch original... it once I don't Remember Why did Zuko not keep his hawk? I wanted oh, yeah. a Momo antagonist. <laughs> I wanted that interaction. I guess they decided it was Zuko can't have friends. Come on. You know this is to be true. It's not even a friend, it's like a subordinate. It's it's too much it's too close to a friend. Yeah. He has to be alone. You can't have like the episode things. Zuko alone. Also, great sure. <laughs> hey, here's the thing about Avatar: if you pick an episode, <laughs> it's there's gonna a be chance a it's gonna be pretty good. I can't even think if there's like an episode that I don't like. There's, I'm sure there's one. There has to be at least one. I just can't think of what it is. Yeah, I guess well, some that are just the beach is a really good episode. Oh, the dial, the dialogue, whether around the fire seems a little, it it's it seems pretty cheesy, not in a bad way necessarily, but just like, poof, <laughs> yeah. That's that's season three issues, sort of just in terms of the writing, where they're they're kind of rubbing up against like teenage adolescent stuff that's it's a little mm-hmm. trickier than the 
Oh the, yeah, for the, sure. The the stuff they were using doing in season two, which is part of why I think it's not quite as good a season. That's fair. And also, Aang had hair for quite a bit of it, so that really detracted <laughs> from the. Experience. I mean, also there was. I mean, honestly, I miss Iroh in that season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's entirely fair. That. And then there's. And, like, I get why it exists, but I like the dynamic so much once Zuko does join the group. I wish there was a little more of that. It feels more... They end up having to rush to go, this is the Zuko and Katara episode. This is the Zuko and Sokka episode. This is the Zuko Aang episode. Like, building it up towards the end. And then we got totally fucking scammed out of our Zuko Toph bonding. (laughs) Like Toph's not really a bonder. Yeah, but she like she was ready for it. She wanted. She to, was like, totally have her ready. Trip. I mean, was that was sad. like them. That Top was ten lim- anime heartbreaks. I mean, it was them lambasting that they were doing. Oh, here's Zuko and K- character X have their bonding moment and learn a little. They but did it that. makes sense, though. It, I mean, it it worked. But they it had to good. have the joke. Look, man, it the wasn't worth joke. the joke. It wasn't <laughs> worth the joke. <laughs> Fair. Uh, fair. <sighs> Still one of my favorite jokes is when they're in the desert and Toph is like, I see it! <laughs> <laughs> Waves her hand in front of her face to remind them that she's blind. Yup. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, what are my what are my favorite bits? I don't even know. I guess up there is the uh, when Fucking Sokka and Zuko are like in the hot air balloon. It's like my first girlfriend turned to the moon. That's, that's rough. That's, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> like, that's, that's that's rough, buddy. Okay, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. That's a pretty rough. rough go my actually another one of my favorites is Zuko giving advice to Sokka, trying to think like Iroh. The silver sandwich yeah, thing he this... comes up with. <laughs> Take a bite out of the silver sandwich. Take a bite out of the silver sandwich. It's like, that's it. Wait, really? No. What you said didn't make any sense. That made zero zero sense. (laughs) Uh, What a good show. Just a top tier. So, so you haven't read any of the comic, correct? I feel like I've seen, like, bits and pieces over the years, but I've never actually, like, sat down... And gone through them, even though I should, because it's like one of my favorite shows of all time. Yeah, so they put out they put out comics that I think are take place during the show or something. They have to be so right like, after it. I thought. Well, the, there's 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 a book there there's a book one water, book two earth, book three fire things, and then stories. But that's not what I'm. The more interesting stuff is after the show ended. Mm-hmm. They then put started putting out books called. There's the promise, the search, the rift, smoke and shadow, and north and south, which is like just finished, which is apparently the last one, and those are all take place after the the run of the series, which is like one of those annoying things. So like at the end of Avatar, when Zuko asks about his mom, that's a thing that happens in those comics. Like that's yeah. when they resolve that plot line. They don't resolve it in a, in the show at all, and that kind of. That's one of the things that bugs me a little bit about the mm-hmm. ending is that he they have him ask that like if you're going just... to if you're going to like resolve that conflict sure go for it but don't ask the fucking yeah. question of the show and leave me hanging yeah I know I, I mean I was mad about that till I read the comics and I was like oh yeah I haven't read all of them totally... I'm not I'm not I'm not fully caught up but uh they're they're good and they they supplied me like the other thing I wanted. When Korra came out of like, yeah, I want another show from these guys, but I also just wanted to see more with those characters from uh, Stan Brandner because I love those characters. Mm-hmm. So the comics deliver on that. Like, they're they're really good. They The characters all feel like those characters. Yeah, like they're everything like they're... that Korra isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, because, yeah, they're, they're not a television show. They're comics. So better than a TV show. Really? I mean, I like comics a lot, so. 
I'm okay with comics better than I, TV. Sure. I think I'd take Airbender comics over Korra show. I mean, you didn't. You watched Korra and you didn't read the comics, so apparently That's you're a liar. Though. That's different, though. Comic Those comics are harder to, like, just find than Korra is. Unless Amazon Prime has some sort of service that I've missed out on for years. You mean where you buy things, you exchange goods for money? <laughs> no, where I no where I have a Prime subscription and things are given to me to view for free. Yeah, that's not that's not the case with uh, yeah. with those. Like even if there would have been some sort of like Kindle or ebook deal with them, like hey, if you get a Prime subscription, like you can download these or whatever, I probably wouldn't have like sprung for it. I like free things. You like paying for free things, is what you're telling me. I like using my student trial that has somehow been going on for, like, three years to view things for free. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I legitimately do not know how I still have Amazon Prime. I just know that I have it. Unless they've I mean, changed it in some way where students just get it. No, I think I there's a limit on number of years, but as long as you have a student email, it's still good. Yeah, it's something. A, a school email. I got no fucking clue. I think it's All three years. All I know is I'm soaking it up. After it. It's three. You can, you have the ability to renew as long as you have a, still have a student email, but I think after like three years. Okay. Can, if you, if you don't have a student email to renew it with. That's fair. I, th I think, but yeah, I just wanted to, to get it known. Those comics are good and worth reading. Yeah, you could I, probably find them if you looked hard oh, enough. Oh yeah, that's all like, I'm saying. Okay, yeah. Also, I'm if you hate paying people for things they make, Jesus, Ben, come on. I mean, we could probably suss out exactly what percentage of my music collection I paid for, and that might literally be single digits. <laughs> uh, yeah. I got a lot of my music by pulling off of the servers at school. Nice. <laughs> a lot of people. Uh, when that was a thing. Um, so the movie <laughs> is uh, garbage. Holy like, shit. I amazing didn't know you could mess up that many garbage. things. In, I didn't know you could mess up that many things in one film. My, like, actually, my it messes up complaint. the intro. Yeah. Just no, the spoken... Intro, reword it so it's worse. So the actors in that movie are terrible. Except for Asif Manvi, who's killing it. They, uh... <laughs> well, the worst, the worst part about the whole ordeal for me was that I was in the theater. I knew it would be bad, but... Yeah, I know, knew it was gonna... I mean, I, don't I was going with a it. friend who had already seen it. Who was okay. like, we have to watch this terrible, awful piece of garbage. Yeah, I, me and a friend went, and I'm like, this is going to be straight trash. Like, buckle up. The yeah. worst part was that not only were there a bunch of kids in the theater, but, like, some oh, of them God. I knew, and, like, their parents were with them, <laughs> so I couldn't, like, bitch at the movie while it was going. Uh -huh. oh, there was a lot of pent-up rage <laughs> in the car ride home. <laughs> Just, like calmly walk through the theater like all these kids pouring out like get in the get in the car like slam the door like what the fuck just off oh my god it's so bad the firebenders it's like need a source of fire already he's bending without a source the earthbenders all marching in unison to move one rock slowly yeah like it i I just can't think of a blockbuster even that looks that terrible that had that high a budget. Like, it just looks like garbage. Yeah. The effects are terrible. Yeah, it's pretty trash. I don't understand. I think they were like, his excuse for um, making it so that firebenders needed a source of fire to bend was like, it's not fair. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is your excuse with air? How do you think they conquered the world? Like, first off, what? Second off, airbenders? <laughs> like, they're not a spacefaring people. There's not a place where they can't bend that I'm aware of. <laughs> like, I don't think we're ever shown that. 
Unreal. Honestly, my favorite thing is that the Dragon Ball Evolution movie, for some reason, decided that Goku's powers were going to be called airbending. So that's the best <laughs> airbending movie. Nice. That's that's <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> I did not know that. Because that movie's that movie's that movie's garbage, but it's more fun garbage than yeah, the last Airbender not, movie. Yeah, the last Airbender movie is just exposition and fucking nothing. I mean, some of it's, it's part of why it's bad is that you can just like you can just you can just get the sense of Mister Knight just sucking himself off. Like this is great; these changes are fantastic. What a twist. Uh, what a twist. <laughs> what a twist. They weren't. What a twist. There's water. Hey. Hey-o. hey It's just like signs. It's just, just like <laughs> signs. Dude, signs scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. All right. So, <laughs> me. What, what year did that movie come out? I don't remember. Fuck. I was probably before or after Last Airbender. Uh, before. It was 2002. Before. 2002. Fuck, yeah. bud. How old was I when they showed that? It had to have been a re it had to have been like a couple years after. We'll say I was probably 10. Mhm. So I'm 10. Uh sister is 8, brother is 6. Uh Yeah, I think we were all involved in that. Um parents gone just old enough and like we're out in the middle of nowhere in the country which is relevant if you've seen signs uh i think they're they're in a farm not really the middle of nowhere i mean still okay Okay. they're surrounded by cornfield i'm surrounded by cornfield um so this movie is on tv and the only light on in the house is the living room where we're watching this movie and obviously, we're little, and it's fucking terrifying. Like, we're sc- <laughs> Ending be damned. It's awful. <laughs> like, I'll end up just sleeping in my brother's room. And the worst part is that the terror lasted for probably two to three days. Because it's summer. It's warm out. You got your windows open late at night. Deer fucking walking through the cornfield. Do you know what that sounds like? It sounds like uh. aliens. Meandering through the cornfield. Coming to climb on top of the roof. Because <laughs> aliens terrible. are things that just meander around and climb on top of your roof and then just stand there for no reason. Dude, it's ter- it was terrible, though. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, that is probably the scariest, scary movie experience I've ever had. That's hilarious. It was true terror. When it came out at the kid's birthday party, fuck, man. That was horrifying. Huh. <laughs> oh, huh. Oh. Look, so I was a scaredy cat for a long time. So I was, did find that movie scary the first time I saw it. That movie's not scary. First yeah, time. I think if I I think if I went back, I'd be like, <sighs> yeah, okay. All, that movie is Great. not scary at all. Also, that ending is the dumbest. They were just like allergic to water, right? <laughs> yeah. Which begs the question: How did they survive for more? But than no, no, it wasn't just that they were allergic to water. It's that those characters' lives were preordained by God to help them defeat the aliens by realizing that those aliens were weak to water. Uh, oh, yeah. oh! <laughs> Didn't catch yeah. that when I was little. I mean, too busy like cowering. Yeah, man, that's why the little girl is putting water everywhere. I mean, I knew, and that's why the guy was just swing. Because he had to swing at the baseball bat at the water to knock it over to hit the aliens. Oh, I don't recall that part. Yeah. I don't recall the, the bit with the... That's how they, they figure it out. I Even mean, I was... M. Night Shyamalan think... shows up and tells them, like, I don't think they like water before that I, happens. I think at a certain point, yeah, at a certain point, I was definitely, like, flicking back. It was almost like a like a car crash. Like, we couldn't look away. <laughs> like we would, we would flick. There was literally nothing else on TV, and like we were all still kind of invested in this movie, <laughs> like despite it being horrifying for us. And there was just, like Red Green was on, but it was a rerun, so like <laughs> I can't work with that. I just saw this one like four nights ago. Signs is a garbage movie. I'd still say it's better than the la- the last oh. Airbender movie. 
I yeah, it's still I would a probably better agree. film, but it's just because I mean I can't believe they fucking even released that movie. Like it's so Last are Airbender they, is such a garbage thing. Are they still getting a sequel? I I I, I, I hear <sighs> shit on and off like that they are. That, like, they're doing a sequel, and I just don't know how. No, there's no way. Because that thing bombed in, like, in a way that, like, damaged that property forever. <laughs> like, they made a lot of... The, the crazy thing to me about Avatar Last Airbender is that Nickelodeon was terrible at, like, making merch for it. They just didn't oh, make that yeah. much. There's still none. Well, the thing is, they made a shit ton of merch for the fucking movie. And no one wanted to buy that because it was garbage, and yeah. the merch was garbage, and looked like the movie, so it looked bad. It didn't have like the cool style of the show, which yeah would be better to adapt to that stuff. Oh, easily. like they fucking. Like, <laughs> also, they were like Nickelodeon was terrible at airing it. Like I was in college when season three was coming out, like waiting for episodes. They would they all leaked. Like I was seeing those before they were airing on TV on the internet. Nice. It was just the thing. Uh, they were they were real bad. Like they would air like four, and then it would be gone for months, and then they would air like another two. Like it was fucking so rough on that, for like, a serialized story. It was like not acceptable. Yeah, I was gonna say like, for like they're on that Steven Universe plan, but it's not their plan. They just like didn't know what they were doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was it I, again like there were shows that did that kind of stuff. Like, there were Cartoon Network shows that, like, oh, now there's one new episode of Dexter's Lab or whatever. Or, sure. like, back when those shows were those early Cartoon Networks. But when you're doing episodic stuff, it doesn't really matter. You can put that stuff out whenever. When you're doing a serialized storytelling, yeah. the air times matter. And they were just fucking clueless. And that cluelessness continued into Korra, where they still had no fucking idea, till they even gave up airing that show on TV at all. Yeah, I was gonna say, I... I forgot that Coral was actually on TV. Because, <laughs> I mean, so Nickelodeon. <laughs> they just yeah, fucking the, uh... gave up. So, I I don't know if this is even information you were aware of. Uh, so uh-huh. the Mall of America, fairly uh-huh. close by me, uh, they had an amusement park in there for a while that was like Camp Snoopy. It was like, okay. <laughs> It was an amusement park, uh-huh. whatever. Uh, I don't know how long ago. The, apparently, this was a long time ago, but it had been an even longer time since I'd ever been there. Uh, Nickelodeon bought it out, like the, uh-huh. the theme park section. So now it's all like Nickelodeon themed stuff. And they actually do have, I think, like a roller coaster that's airbender themed. Mm-hmm. And they have like a merch shop. I'm like, oh. It's a Nickelodeon theme park. Like, if anyone has Airbender merchandise, like, it's this place. They barely had shit still. Like, they had some decent-sized Appa plushies, but that was, like, yes. it. Yeah, like, those Appa plushies like, are good. That is, like, the one good thing they made. <laughs> I just, I want the bigger, though. Like, the, the life I mean, there's, a, like, a 40-foot one, but... <laughs> or not 40-foot, 40 40-inch. 40 Okay, so you got my hopes up real briefly, and I was going to start asking some questions. <laughs> no, 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 I, no, I, I got it care. wrong. 40 no, inch. I yeah, 40 now inch, I, I don't care nearly I think as much. Biggest one. Could you imagine? I have, I have a friend who has that. It's real fucking nice. Yeah, I would, like, if I saw, I don't think they had a 40 inch one there. But if, yeah. I, if I saw, if I saw a giant Appa plush, like, I'd be into it. I'd be down. It's real good. But that's, like, the only thing that I know they made. I think they made Avatar... They made, like, one Lego set or something at some point. Yeah, there's, like, some... We, yeah. Yep. That was a thing. But, like, they were... They were bad. As someone who looked into that stuff when it was coming out, they, they were just terrible at it. It's like, how... You're just fucking this up on a business end. Yeah. Like, I want to give you money for dumb little things, and you're just... Nope. Also, <laughs> gonna make don't them. know how they haven't been able to make a truly good video game out of it. I mean, I know why that happened. Like, licensed games, they're just not good. Yeah, but that was like... I can understand the- not making a good version of 
I don't know, cars. But come on. Come on, like literally. The, the problem is it's not worth it for a company at that scale to buy in for a license and like you're you're spending too much of the cost yes. on the license. And so if you're going to make the game at that cost, you're it's hurting the game because that money can't go to the development of the game. I mean, that's like why that that Platinum Core game is like the closest thing you can point to, but that's like a compromised Platinum game. And I'm sure it's because, A, it's yeah. their B team, but also because they had to pay for the Cora license. And that's like a sunk cost for development. Yeah. Also, Still license sad. games are garbage. Still sad, though. Like, what good Nickelodeon game is there? I mean, okay, I played one at whatever Avatar, whatever Airbender game was on 360. I rented that for a night and rolled out, like, the five achievements to get 100% on it. You could get them all in training mode. Uh, yeah. I played through a bit of it, and it wasn't, like, terrible, but I was like, yeah, okay. okay. You're right, though. I played a good, a decent Daniel X game on 3DS, which is a fucking kid's book property that didn't even have a show, <laughs> right. so... And that was a fine Metroidvania game, so like, there's no excuse, honestly, except yeah. like the deals they were making. Um, particularly, like, they're great Naruto games. So you're just fucking up over there, guys. You just don't know what you're doing. Ugh, Naruto. Look, the Naruto fighting games are better than the show as adaptations. That's all I'm saying. It's actually, I finished the series by playing the video game. Just because I needed closure. But that was the best way to experience that story. I think I threw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's like, he's used their characters using elements. There's 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 crossover if don't you're looking at video don't. games. Hmm. <laughs> Honestly, it was it, it was from the Azura's Wrath developers. No, that sounds like an episode. That sounds like a we're done here. <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> Are you telling me you don't like Naruto, Ben? Is that what you're telling me? I'm telling you that I appreciate the fact that the person, apparently, who voices Naruto is, like, a 50-year-old white woman. In the dub, or...? I think the dub. I mean, that, that makes sense. Apparently, the person, uh, the person apparently, who... The lady who voices Goku in Japanese is the same woman who's voiced him since that original show... So she's voicing an adult male, and she's like in her seventies. I mean, that's like doing all this that, screaming. Like, it's pretty like, awesome, actually. Isn't that like a three fourths of the Simpsons cast, though? Yeah, but they don't have to do like screaming. That's <laughs> also true. there aren't there aren't women voicing adult males. There are women voicing kids because that's yeah. that's a thing. Like that's yeah, why no, that's I mean that's it. why she voiced Goku. She voiced Goku because Goku was a child, <laughs> but then the and character then, got, grew up. That's pretty over great. a long period of time. He was always just running on that walkway, though. What a boring show! That's all I ever I mean, saw him doing. Well, that's I'm pretty Dragon sure Ball it was Z. part of the pretty Dragon sure Ball was, Z is kind of garbage. I'm pretty sure it was part of the theme song, though. I, like I mean that was intro. Yeah, yeah. So you, you know. have to remember though, Dragon Ball Z is a sequel series. You're already coming in in like when th they've reached the point of it being absurd. And okay, but like how? Strung out. When did Dragon Ball Z come out? Roughly, two thousand something early. No, early nineties. Nineties. Much yeah, earlier. Okay. So Much like earlier. Max. So like Max. Ben was like four, maybe three. Well, <laughs> see, like, I didn't care. See, Sailor the reason, Moon was still good. I mean, the reason I like Dragon Ball, I like Dragon Ball more, is they brought it over to the U.S. later, so the dub quality was much better because mm. all the actors from it had already been voicing those characters in Z, so they didn't have to, like, grow into them the way that sure. voice actors always do. And also, Dragon Ball is just way better because it's, like, actually a show where, like, things happen in an episode instead of... Things happen over the course of a hundred episodes. Literally the only thing, the only thing that I know about 
Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball whatever is uh, there's a dude named Broly. And it's goes, not even in the show. It's not even in the show. It's movies. It's movies. I don't bullshit. even care. There's a dude named Broly. Fucking Broly. Yeah. That's all I know. Or care about. He becomes a poop monster in one of those movies, basically. Or like half the monsters in Digimon poop monsters? Not half. Third. Not half. Third. <laughs> There's a there's definitely a, a type of monsters that attacks by throwing poop. Mm-hmm. I can only think of one that is literally shaped like poop. He's yellow though, and poop is pink in that show, so it's totally different. But he's <laughs> of basically of poop with arms, and like I mean, his mouth is like he's like a Canadian in South Park. He like bounces all around. So we think in like. Possibly a Gen 8, Gen 9 Pokemon? <laughs> like. I don't know. Digimon's way more into their things being aggressively gross. Okay. I mean, there is. There are Pokemon exceptions. There's but Trubbish actual... is still kind of cute. <laughs> Trubbish is still kind of cute. Is that the one that is literally garbage? That's the one that's just the garbage bag, not the one that's the heaping pile of garbage. Okay, well, <laughs> I think we just described, like, Gen 4 and Gen 5, respectively. <laughs> it's like a little pile of trash. It's still kind of cute. Uh, Dragon Ball anime started in 86. Dragon Ball Z started <laughs> in 89 in Japan. Okay, so, like, how... Oh, in Japan. Yeah. Okay. They came they came to the US much later, both of them. Hmm. But I yeah. think that's an episode. No, that that sounds like an episode. Uh so you can email us at saltcirclepodcast at gmail dot com. Hit us up at soundcloud dot com slash salt circle where you can find all our episodes. We're at Twitter at Salt Circle Pod. And you can find me on Twitter at Comic Panels. And I'm on Twitter at Bean underscore LP. And uh, thanks to Spart for our logo. And uh, that's an episode. Thanks Peace. for watching. Peace. Watching? Watching? Maybe they're God. watching. They're looking at the screen. Fuck. Fuck you, Ben. <laughs> God damn it. I hate myself.